in trying to become a polymath such as Bruce Wayne, someone that is a CEO, works out all the time, is able to compete in the Olympics at all times, knows all these martial arts, is a polyglot, knows all these different languages, and has a PhD level knowledge in multiple different STEM fields. Polymath. Um, one of the skills that needs to come with that is being able to process large amounts of information and then make decisions on that information. Um, so essentially what Project Wayne is is seeing through time management techniques, through advancing them, how close someone can become becoming efficient enough to gain all the knowledge and the skills and experiences needed uh, to become like him, Bruce Wayne, a polymath. Um, so even though the project is inspired by Bruce Wayne, uh, this particular part of the project was really inspired by a book I read. Uh, I can't remember the author, uh, but it was called Black Edge, and it was based off of Steve Cohen. And this really helped me you know, think and build my systems uh, needed to become a polymath, which is being able to process all this incoming information. Uh, so Steve Cohen was a, a hedge fund manager um, who was involved with insider trading, you know, trading on that black edge. Um, but, you know, even though it's illegal, uh, it still requires the skill to process a huge amount of incoming information um, in not only selecting the information, but automating the inflows or, you know, building up the relationships with people to get those inflows of information, those sources of information, then monitoring the incoming resulting information, and then finally choosing what information to act on. And what really inspired me in this book that I found really interesting is part of it where he talks about Steve Cohen having an extremely advanced filtering system for his email because he would get hundreds and hundreds of emails a day and he wouldn't even be able to look at most of them um, but just how he was able to filter it and then I don't know if this is true or not but I heard somewhere that Elon Musk also uses a uh, some sort of proprietary email system where it blocks out of all the unnecessary noise so he doesn't have to waste time um, going through his inbox. So right after I read that book, um, Black Edge, I immediately wanted to start implementing and automating my own information processing systems. And I decided to start with an email because that would be the easiest to set up. And the essentially the starting goals of this email system was for it to automate the gathering of information and present it to me in an efficient manner and then filter out spam and junk mail and the last goal being to organize that information. Uh, I made a video on this I think around a year ago which I'll link to this video uh, but I've made some additions and tweaks to it to make the systems more efficient since that video. Uh, so essentially, since the first phase of this project is retiring at 30 or before, a lot of the information has to do with finance, because uh, that's the industry that I work in, or want to work in, to begin building up that portfolio, um, as well as how to manage it. Uh, so through my credit card system that I have set up, I actually get the Wall Street Journal for free. And then through that, I have several newsletters that I've signed up for through the Wall Street Journal, uh, including the CFO Journal and Markets AM, which bring me financial information uh, into my inbox in the mornings between 7 and 7.30. Uh, something else I have coming in is 13F filings, which show the holdings of large financial institutions. Uh, some of the institutions that I track is Scion Asset Management, uh, which is run by Michael Burry, who 
predicted the housing market crash of 2008. Um, BlackRock is another one, and Berkshire Hathaway is another. I also have SEC filings for individual companies. Um, the one that I get the most emails from is Palantir, because uh, I have a large position in that company. I also have Google News Alerts set up to scrape the web for certain keywords. Um, one of those being XRP, which I also have a large holding of. And then in real estate, I have Zillow notifications for a area that I plan to move to eventually um, that I'm constantly looking for investment opportunities in the area. So those are all the inflows I currently have set up. Um, I have a bunch of restrictions on my email as well that filter out probably 95 to 97% of the junk email that I was previously getting. And then if that's essentially the first step, and if that, if the emails get through that filter, um, then they then have automatic labels applied to them according to the incoming email address where they came from. Uh, and then I have a Google app script set up and linked to my Gmail account, uh, to my email that moves any emails that I've opened up that are marked as red to their appropriate folders. So if I get anything uh, with a army address on it, it'll go to an army folder. Uh, I have business news is another label I have, the CFO journal and markets AM go to that folder, as well as the Zillow notifications, the 13Fs, the 8Ks, the 10Ks, and Qs, they all go there. Um, I have an education folder um, where I, it's mostly just logistics now, uh, but it's where, I'm not sure why the camera keeps doing that, but it's where I work on building up the logistics to be able to go to multiple different universities and colleges um, for advanced degrees, you know, such as law school uh, and business school uh, to start. And then I have other, some other labels I have is financial, so personal finance stuff, and a friends and family folder, um, and then a bunch of other labels that there's too many to name them all. And I also have codes that I can give to people that ensure that if they send me an email, that'll make it past all my filtering systems um, because otherwise their email will just automatically get deleted and it'll never hit my inbox. Um, so my system, the script that I made, which I use AI to make because I'm a very bad coder, um, it scans the email, both the title and the contents of the email. It finds the code, uh, which is, I just make it a four digit you know, pin code, it finds that code, it identifies it, and it moves it to a certain folder uh, so I can look at it later. Uh, and then most of these information systems are finance and business related. And again, that's just because that's what I'm really focused on now um, with phase one of the project being accumulating a portfolio of, of one and a quarter million, which I'm a significant way into and phase two being being able to retire but not necessarily being retired and moving around the world to different universities and colleges and pursuing further education and mentorship um, for specific things that I find needing for the project to become a polymath and uh, phase two essentially I no longer have any need or worry about money for essentially the rest of my life. Uh, and the goal for phase two would be to start when I'm 30 or particular or ideally sooner because um, that would be seven years from now. So that's why most of these are finance related. Um, but as I branch out and I can spend a lot more time on different non-financial related things, then I'll have information flows, inflows, 
set up for a lot more than just financial information. So thanks for watching. Um, there's the other video, I'll have it linked at the end of the video here as well. Um, I think I made this video about a year ago uh, and I just made some tweaks to some of the systems. I've made new folders. Uh, I think I had the app script up running back then, but I don't think it was as efficient as it is now. Um, and I wasn't tracking, you know, real estate or some of the 13Fs, some stuff, other stuff also got added. So if you see that video and you see this video, you can kind of see the progression. And that video goes probably more in depth into the basics of it. And I think it also has the code attached as well, um, which you can see in that video. But also if you go to the description of this video, it has a GitHub repository where you can see the, the uh, app script code if you want to use it for yourself. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any advice for me in the comments, I'll always look at it and take it into consideration. Um, so that's it. See you next week.